y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Today, I'm going back, bringing it on back to my nostalgic YouTube roots with the wig reviews. I know it's been a while since I've done a wig review, but I have been so excited to try on wigs again, mainly because Amazon. Amazon not only has been taking my coins, I had no clue that there were so many cute wigs on Amazon. I thought they only carried like party city-ish wigs. But to my surprise y'all, no, they have some really cute affordable wigs and I've been on a hunt to find really cute affordable wigs that I can just throw on. Our lifestyles are more simplistic now and um, we're just not doing too much. <laughs> But I still wanted to be cute and find some wigs that I know that I would wear often and not just stack up. Like my collection before was so massive. I had to get rid of so many wigs that I never wore. But I wanted to stack up on wigs that I know that I'll get some use out of, okay? And save me some coins. So if you're a wig nista and you are trying to save a coin or two, sis, this video is for you. Stay tuned, all the links for these wigs will be in the description boxes. I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna buy at least one of these wigs, all right? So let's dive into the video. Okay, so up first we have this extremely gorgeous, beautiful, curly, full, big hair unit. I love this wig. I tried this wig on actually already in an Instagram live video that I did and y'all drooled over it, okay? Some of y'all even exited the live early just to get the wig. I don't blame you, this wig is cute and I really do love her. So let's talk about styling really quick. All I did was brush the curls out, um, not the ends, but like the roots just to give it a bit more volume. She came with this kind of framed bang style, which you guys know that's my signature look. I love height at the top and I love it to frame my face because I have a small head. She has one comb in the front, adjustable straps. It is definitely big head friendly. I have a really petite small head so I had to like really double up on trying to get it to to fit a certain way but she fits fine and I just added a few bobby pins to secure it on the ends and like if I shake her and move her she's not going anywhere she's just super full so gorgeous the name of this unit like the style name I do not know because a lot of these units are from vendors on Amazon and they may not have like a name to it, but definitely check the description box because the links will be down below. Um, I love her. What, I mean, what else do I need to say? She's giving you Jessica, okay? This is Jessica. Actually, I would love this unit with a bit more blonde at the end, like more blonde highlights at the end, but she just makes you wanna fluff her. Like I can't keep my hands out of this this unit. Like I, I, just, I just can't. And there's not too much work you have to do with this wig. Like she comes super cute already. Um, I don't feel like I need to cut anything, which is a plus because I'm always shaping and cutting my wigs. Like if I wanted to cut a little something, it'll just be like up here in the front, mainly to get that bang. But honestly, you don't even have to do that. You can take a bobby pin to kind of like secure it and shorten it without having to go in and cut your wig too much. But when I tell you y'all, I'm obsessed with this unit. I am obsessed. Doesn't she give you throwback Karen Guy, or Taryn Guy, not Karen Guy. <laughs> Taryn Guy from like, I don't know what year or era that was, it was probably 2014-ish, 15-ish. But I remember she had her hair just like this. Um, this looks like her hair. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of this unit. Like, you're gonna see a lot of her. I'm just saying, she's gorgeous. All right, so let's try on the next wig right now. All right, so next we have this one I haven't done red hair in so long so as you guys can see I'm playing with color this one is I think I believe it's from the same vendor as that first big one with the auburn or the brown highlights I'm gonna brush her out to get her to look better than this but so far I'm loving the color Okay, so let me just start off by saying, if you've ever watched any of my wig videos, you've never really seen me wear red or this color before because I have always just felt like I never looked right in red. I don't know what it was. I just felt like it wasn't right for my skin tone or my undertone. But this wig has me believing that all the time I've been living a lie. This wig is so gorgeous and I think it doesn't even look bad on my skin tone. I thought the other one was cute, you know, the one with the brown highlights, but I'm kind of liking this one a little bit more. And it's surprising because like I said, I don't normally do this color, but y'all, I love this color. 
she is so pretty like this wig is literally life it's it's gorgeous so besides the color there's really no differences she's just as full as the first one I was wearing she's just as gorgeous the curls pop um, she's definitely a little bit more defined than I normally like my wigs so I'll just go in and kind of like uh, frizz up the roots a little bit more but keep the curls at the end because I love that look I feel like it look it looks a lot more natural when your hair is like frizzier and fuller because naturally that tends to happen on when our hair is um, natural like your your roots get a little bit more frizzy and fuller and then the ends still have that definition so I'll definitely keep the definition at the ends but I'm gonna go in later on and kind of just like frizz her up a little bit the older she gets I know she's gonna look good but this wig was so inexpensive like if I needed to get another one take my coins Amazon like I can do that I just love this color so much y'all like look at the color the roots are 1b and then it fades into like this gorgeous like I want to say it's a 99j if I'm not mistaken that is the color of it but I'll leave the all information down below but guys, I can't say much more. Like this is the type of wig where you just start repeating yourself because there's really nothing left, left else to say other than she's gorgeous. Like look at that, when you move her around. I knew I was gonna like her. Like when I saw the wig on the website, I was like, I'm gonna like her. I already know it, I know I'm gonna like her, but I love her now. <laughs> like we are in love, she is gorgeous. And you guys saw how I, you know, combed her out. You don't need to do much, just comb the roots, don't comb the tips, keep the curls and definition towards the end but she's just so natural and I would go in with some bobby pins too just to like secure the wig a little bit more I'm just not a fan of lace front wigs this is more my zhuzh I love a wig that I can just throw on and she has like a comb to attach it to um and go like I'm not really a fan of lace front yeah it's just not my thing but this this is my thing okay so this next unit looks a bit scary right now Definitely giving Raggedy Ann vibes. Um, I'm gonna try to work it out because I don't know exactly what I was thinking when I got her and I just didn't think it would be so orange. I thought, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but let's just try to work her out. <laughs> Cause right now I'm kind of regretting this purchase. Okay, y'all, don't don't hate me and don't judge me, but I low-key, I don't know why, but I low-key like this wig. Am I crazy? I just feel like, I don't know, I, I don't know why I like her. There's something about her that's giving me life, and I don't know what it is. The color is a bit on the orange side, but it, it's giving me ginger. She's giving me ginger a little bit. I don't know why I like this wig. Excuse the rattling sound, my daughter's playing with the diaper wipes, that is what's keeping her calm right now. So we just gonna ignore that sound. But you guys, I really like this hair. I feel like if I were to take some really dope pictures, like the look I have in my in my head, like super 90s, 90s vibes. Now she can go from really cute and edgy to Ronald McDonald really quick or Ronisha McDonald <laughs> really fast. I don't, yeah, you have to be careful with this wig. But I don't know why. I just feel like life is too short for boring hair. I feel like this color kind of goes with like my yellow undertone. If I was ever gonna do red, I feel like this would be like a good color to do. I don't know, you guys, let me know. I kind of, I'm kind of digging her. I think she's kind of cute. I could be tripping. I have to go in and shape this just a little bit, but I like, I like the curls on this and if I were to go back and get this unit in a more appropriate color, um, I don't think I would be mad at it. But I'm not really too much mad at this either, you guys. I kind of, I'm kind of digging it. Let me know if I'm tripping, but I, I just, I don't know. You have to have the matching confidence to wear a wig like this, especially if you're not naturally, your hair is not naturally this color. You gotta have the confidence to rock her. Otherwise, you're just gonna look like you're about to go to a costume party. And I may look like that now, but um, I 
still like her. All right, so up next we have this wig. Now, the other ones didn't have a name, she does. This one is by Outre. This is their quick weave in the style Peruvian. And y'all, she's giving bundles. <laughs> this is a pretty long wig. She comes like to my waist. And I've been wearing this wig a lot lately, actually. Um, I'm not styling it today. Normally I would style like my edges a little bit. I'll put like a little bit of um, gel on my edges. And then I use a curling wand and kind of like put some really quick ringlets or like waves in the front to mimic the hair. But you guys, I love this wig. It's super easy and quick to put on. Like literally I put it on and I can go. Or you can even like braid the front of your hair, whatever. My hair is straight right now, so that's why I use the curling wand. But y'all, this wig is such an easy go-to wig and it's just so effortless and free flowing. She's giving you Rapunzel, like. <laughs> I'm just here for her. I really like this wig. And this is not a new wig. She's been out for a minute. Longer than what I normally go for because I usually go for hair that goes up and not down. But I'm not mad at it. I think it's super cute. I think the length is perfect. The texture is perfect. It's not too heavy. It's not too thick where it looks unnatural. But it's not too thin where it looks like, girl. You know, it gives you just the right amount of um, density and volume but I really do like this wig this is like one of those popular units I know a lot of women um, who wear synthetic hair or who wear wigs prefer this wig because it's just like a quick and easy go and I love the quick weave wigs because you get a style instantly it's like a style in a bag <laughs> you open the bag put it on your head girl you're styled okay and I love that about these quick weaves and the wigs that I feel like the wigs that come with lace it takes more time and manipulation to make them look natural, especially if it's a synthetic wig. <laughs> what she said. I think I'm gonna go back and get this color and also a, another color, like the, the ombre one. Thinking about doing that. Okay, so for this next unit, I'm just going to brush out the curls a bit. I was immediately attracted to the color. Let's see how she looks once I brush her out a bit. Okay, you guys, this is the next unit. And as you guys saw, I fluffed her out a little bit and kind of like gave her some more volume. I like this unit. I will say that the curls, I feel like some of them are very like ringlet type and then the other ones are more looser. So I don't know what that's all about, but I feel like it kind of makes it look more natural because natural hair has different textures in it. Some are super tight, some of the curls are looser. But why I bought this wig was because obviously the color. You guys know I love blonde hair. I am a blonde hair fiend. And I love the fact that it has like this um, brown base, like the roots are like brown and then it has like the really like golden blonde highlights at the end or like, yeah, it's like a golden blonde highlight. And I think it's just such a cute wig and I love the color on me, but I don't think she looks bad. I think she looks super cute. I think she looks natural. She's full. And where have these wigs been all of my life? I've always gravitated towards really huge big hair and I've wanted it in like a really cool blonde color. And I feel like this is a really gorgeous blonde wig. Like she's giving you dimension with the um, low lights and highlights. I just think this is such a cute wig and when I get a chance to really go in there and make her look a bit more natural, I think she's going to serve. I just really like it and I love the color on me. And she moves great. I always do this. This is my test for big hair. Like how does she fall if I'm moving my head around? And she falls falls pretty well. Somebody is up from their nap so let's just see how if I can get through any more wigs. Hey Zobo, you like this wig on mommy? Look at mommy's hair. Look at mommy's hair, boo. Come on. You like it? So this last wig that I'm sharing is definitely not a stranger to YouTube. She is my go-to for big vol voluminous hair. This is the Curls Kinks and Co. Rainmaker wig. I think she is just such a gorgeous, classic, kind of giving you retro vibes hair. Um, very voluminous 
full and I just love that she's textured. Like the texture of this wig gives so much life. I believe this style definitely comes in a lace front if you were more of that girl. I prefer, like I said, like half wigs, but she's so full, y'all. This is definitely a full wig with the exception of you can leave your edges out if you want some leave out, which is what I did, just kind of like, and she blends. Because she's textured, she matches my textured seamlessly. I love me some big hair. The curls are gorgeous on here, and I didn't mess too much with it. Like, my hands, mostly go towards the top. This is where I do most of the work and I kind of just let the rest just be. Let it be, let it be free flowing or whatever. I don't want to do too much to it because I don't want to take away from the integrity or the style of the wig too much. But definitely these roots, they get touched. Um, she was already big from jump. If you don't like big hair, which I don't know why you wouldn't like big hair. You, this may not be your thing if you don't like big hair, cause she's definitely big, okay? Perfect for winter, perfect for colder months. So get her while you can, while you can wear her. And yeah, I just think she's just definitely a gorgeous wig. I am in love. I really love her. I think she's so pretty. She comes in a bunch of colors, but since my hair is dark, I just feel like the dark, um, color 1B, I believe this is the shade that I have, just works perfectly for me. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching my video. And just for being a supporter of my channel, I know I've not been here. I know I have not been here as much as I would like to, you guys. All I can say is life, okay? But don't ever think I don't want to be here. It makes me sad sometimes because I really want to film for you guys, but I've just been so busy and I'm doing my best to try to kind of get more active on here. But I thank you for just sticking around and watching my content and supporting my channel. I said that so funny. Channel. <laughs> supporting my channel regardless to show my appreciation. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And you would only know this if you watched the video. So um, yeah, I'll be gifting two wigs from this video away to one of you guys. And I just, I don't know. I just felt like that was something I wanted to do. It's kind, it's kind of something I didn't plan. I wasn't planning on doing a giveaway, but I was like, you know what, let me do it. So if you made it to the end of this video and you would like to enter this giveaway, I want you to leave a comment stating, I made it to the end and then tell me the two wigs that you want, okay? So you can just describe it. So say, I made it to the end and then whatever two wigs that you want from this video. I think that's fair enough. That's not too confusing, right? Let's see, I'll have this giveaway running up for a week and then I will contact that winner and let them know that they won and that is how we'll do this little impromptu giveaway. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you like this video. Is, is this something that you want me to do periodically? Like show you guys different wigs that, I'm, that I bought on Amazon, that I'm loving from Amazon. I can definitely do that because I'm always, always on Amazon. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.